Hi, Ellie Walsh, and today is day 17 of the 90 Day Video Challenge. So, last night I was on a call, a training call with the Empower Network, and um, it was it was all women on the call. It's a group, the super women, fabulous, fabulous group of women, and we were talking about attitude, um, your why, and your awareness level. And so it made me think of, oh, I should do this video today. This is it, this is not a two-minute video. It's going to be a little longer today because I really want to give you this. And this is a process that I teach all of my clients. Okay, and I came up with this process a little over, a, a li well, just about 10 years ago. And let me tell you why I came up with this process. I was, I was already very aware of your thoughts create your life. I was getting that. I was living that. I was reading that. I was studying that for years already. But I was just about introduced, just a little over 10 years ago, I was introduced to the law of attraction. So my life was doing this. I was, things were going good. Things weren't so good. Things were going good. Things weren't going crappy. Things were going really, really good. Things were back down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And I decided, I'm going to figure this out. So, in actuality, okay, I'm sure what I was doing is I was testing this. Is this really true? So here's what I did. At that time, I had a digital, a digital timer. I actually used one at my desk here all the time. And I set it for 90 minutes and when it went off in 90 minutes I would ask myself this question what am I feeling right now not what am I thinking what am I feeling right now and here's why I'm asking that question what you're feeling is an indicator of the vibration that you're holding so that's, that means it's the vibration you're putting out, okay? And the vibration that you have is a result of the thoughts that are going on in your head, whether you're aware of them or not. Now, we've been talking about that all along, and we've talked about how there's so many, fifty to 70,000 thoughts run through our head on a daily basis. Most of those thoughts we're not aware of, and most of them are repetitive, and most of them are old stories, and they're not usually very uplifting. That's the best way to say it. So, the question, the time I would go off, the question is, what am I feeling right now? Now, I have to tell you, myself and most people I work with, when you first ask that question, here's how you usually answer it. I don't know. Because we're not even used to asking ourselves what am I feeling right now? We ask other people how they feel. We don't usually ask ourselves that, how we feel. Now, sometimes you people want to answer that question with telling, they try to figure out what they were thinking. That's not the question. What am I feeling right now? And what, so if it's, I don't know, let's tell you this. If you are really angry, you know it. And if you are really happy, you know it. I don't know is closer to not anger, but yuck, okay? I don't know is closer to yuck than it is to really good joy. It, it is, yes? So, it didn't matter. I was just going to be aware of, what am I feeling right now? Oh, I don't know, which I realized meant, oh, well, kind of blah. <laughs> so, the next, immediately what you're going to just acknowledge that whatever it is, and then say this, what can I appreciate right now? So I started doing this. And then I went to the store. I live in the boonies. So the only big store around here, not really around, 20-something miles from my house, is Walmart. I have this timer in my pocket. It goes off, and it doesn't matter because everybody's cell phones are going off. Nobody even notices, right? And I'm in the jelly aisle at this point, and <laughs> the thing goes off. I say, okay, you know, quietly, what, what am I feeling right now? And I don't, it was like frustrated or antsy or I don't know, or blah, or whatever. And then I thought, well, okay, what can I appreciate right now? 
and I'm in front of the jelly, and so I thought, okay, I like jelly. I'll appreciate jelly. It was as simple as that. Take the time, I set it back to 90 minutes, put it in my pocket. In two or three days, I already knew why I was living up and down, up and down, because I was so aware at the end of every day of how much up and downs I have. And most people that knew me would have told you that I was a positive person, and I would have told you that too. Okay, so, but I had a lot of, a lot of downs. Not, I had some ups, and I had some downs. I had some like, they weren't horrid, they were like blah. Like uh, a little frustrated, a little antsy. I was like, whoa, this is interesting. I kept doing it. I did this for 30 days. By the seventh or eighth or ninth day like that, when the, when the, when the timer went off, okay, um, I, it was an immediate. I was, I was starting to become aware before the time that even went off of what I was, where I was, and I started to make myself pay more attention to things to appreciate. This is shifting again. Uh, okay, you can also ask yourself that question. Ooh, how can I see this differently? But we're not worried about the thinking, so we're just talking about the feeling. So I still do do this process all these years later. I'm still I'm still doing this process. I I don't do it all the time, and that's because I like to. I don't want to get used to it. You know how we can just get used to things and then ignore it. So I do it for a while, and then I stop. And for me today, it's really all about appreciation. But here is what happens for me and happens for all my clients when they do this process. And do it for at least 10 days. And I really recommend the first time you do it to do it for 30 days. Because you will not only be aware of why am I getting, why am I getting the stuff that I'm getting in my life? Oh, because I'm putting those kind of vibrations out. That's why. And I didn't even know it. And now it raises your awareness level and gives you the opportunity to continually shift those vibrations, to have more awareness of what we're really putting out there. So I now have a bracelet that buzzes off every 90, every 90 minutes. And, you know, I know you know I'm new to the smartphone world, but I don't know how to do apps yet, but people that have them, tell me there are apps that they download that like sets off chimes or something and they can make it go every, so I have to figure out how to do that, but if you know some good ones, let me know. This was a life-changing process for me. This is when I got the big ahas. Of, oh, no wonder why I'm getting what, I, what I'm getting, because I don't mean to, but inadvertently, I'm putting out those kind of vibrations. I'm putting out frustrated vibrations, and I'm getting frustrated things back. I'm putting out good vibrations, and I was getting good stuff, but I was getting this mixed bag. And we get this mixed bag when we're running on these old stories, and we're not in the awareness of what am I feeling right now. That's important. We want to be aware of who we are and who we are being right now. So let me know if you do this process. Come come talk to me over at the Facebook page. If you know any apps that like do chimes or something every 90 minutes that I can download to my smartphone, let me know that too. And I will see you tomorrow, day 18. Have a great day.